Within 24 hours of receiving confirmation of the first Zika virus case on the island, the Ministry of Health has shown that it will not be intimidated. Health officials quickly sprung into action and aggressively conducted operations of fogging to ensure that mosquitoes are eradicated in the area where the patient lives. Officials believe that this quick and strategic intervention has paid dividends because thus far, there have been no new cases reported. Cavill Frederick is following the state of affairs of Zika in Grenada. After several months of preparation and public health strategic interventions on various fronts, Grenada recorded its first laboratory confirmed case of the Zika viral infection on May 4, 2016, becoming the last country in our region to have Zika. For months, Grenada fought and continues to fight the mosquito-related illness vigorously while several Pan-American health organizations, PAHO, and Caribbean Public Health Agency CAFA member states, including some of our closest territories such as Trinidad and Tobago, Venezuela, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados, St. Lucia, and Jamaica, had already declared the presence of Zika. However, on receiving the confirmation notification from the Trinidad-based CAFA, Health Minister Nicola Steele and Chief Medical Officer Dr. George Mitchell made the official announcement. On Thursday, uh, 27th, we learned of a possible Zika case here in Grenada. We immediately sent samples down to CAFA headquarters in Trinidad and have received information back from CAFA, which confirms that that person does test positive for Zika. Since Thursday of learning of the possibility of that case, we have uh, aggressively embarked uh, on Friday, fogging of, of where that person lives and the area that they work, and did the same on Monday and will continue to do so. Um, the information came to us, I want to mention through the proper channels in that that person went to their private doctor and the private doctor immediately notified the Ministry Surveillance Unit. During the briefing, the Grenadian Health Minister repeated his clarion for individuals to play their path. We do need the public to do their part. Not all the lands, not all the containers, not all the houses belong to the Ministry of Health or the Government of Grenada. This is a joint effort. In order to prevent the further spread, of the Zika virus, there are two main steps that the public at large must take. One is not to be bitten by mosquitoes. If you are not bitten by a mosquito, you cannot get Zika um, based on the normal transmission of Zika. And the other is to stop the harboring and breeding of mosquitoes in your environment. He shed light on the patient in question. The case in point is a 27-year-old national um, who resides in the uh, St. Andrew's area. Well, as a matter of fact, um, she is now fortunately uh, well up and um, so it's in keeping with what we have said before that the infection basically takes about two to seven days and uh, it goes away um, with little or no major um, problems to the patient. The CMO credited the ministry for its now famous public health response, which has become a model for other countries in the region. Grenada, as we, as we, as I said before, um, undertook a strategic intervention, um, raising awareness, um, surveillance, and monitoring, building partnerships with the with the media, and focusing on pregnant women. We got the list of uh, all pregnant women in the area that the person, uh, the suspected person, now confirmed person, lives in, and we have instituted measures to deal with um, surveillance and the knocking down of all adult mosquitoes in a 200 a meter radius from all pregnant women who reside in that area. However, one day after receiving confirmation from CAFA, health officials including public health nurses, epidemiologists, environmental health and vector control workers visited the school where the individual is employed and met with the principal, Father Edward Mark. The local priest said he was pleased with the ministry's response. I am pleased um, with the level of support given this morning. Um, one of 
my key observations is that there is a first it's a concrete drain there and it's not properly maintained I know from the ministry standpoint reminders and indicators were given by the district officers uh, they would have indicated but so far nothing of course due to our conditions here also once it's raining water will settle under the buildings um, and of course a lot of the garbage now that is disposed indiscriminately some of it blown underneath the building and those receptacles like the styrofoam they sometimes you know retain water we started our operation since the day we got notification of um, a suspected case. We, are, we were doing entomological surveillance, searching for breeding sites of the mosquito in the vicinity of where that person resided. One of the groups that is high at risk and that the ministry is particularly concerned about are young ladies who intend to get pregnant soon or pregnant people as a whole because as has been found in countries where this Zika is um, occurring, we find that babies are being born with small heads. The individual in question would have communicated with me from the beginning, the bad feelings, going to see the doctor, etc., etc. So um, there was that line of communication there. Um, in terms of the concerns of staff, um, I think the, the main concern um, uh, was relating to the, the, the quarantine, you know, being away, right? Um, a number of them asked, well, Father Mark, why wasn't a sick leave given? I say, remember, I'm a principal and a priest, right? I'm not a medical doctor. And remember, sometimes when you go to a doctor, um, I may think, okay, I have certain symptoms, but upon investigation, the, the medical doctor, as a professional, will be able to make a profound um, judgment as to whether or not. So I told them I cannot answer to it, simply because prior to yesterday, it was more or less a suspected um, case, based on my knowledge. So, um, but the question was also asked, well, now it is confirmed, you know, should the whole issue of quarantine be a factor? So that's why I mentioned the seven-day incubation period which i think um a lot of people are not grasping that incubation period i don't think a lot of people are not, they're not understanding you know that it's crucial after which the possibility would be minimal then right. you know right. so but um but because sometimes they're not aware of that period they think well okay it's there and okay you know i'm exposed to, to great danger yes. and so on Although there is a presence of Zika in Grenada, there is no widespread outbreak and Minister Steele is adamant that as a people, we still need to do all we can to ensure it remains that way. We have been quite open with you from the beginning and have taken every step to prepare the nation for this in terms of public service announcements, what are the risks involved and to keep you informed of the efforts of the ministry. Um, as has been said before, all of our steps was in the hope of preventing, but because of porous borders, it is almost impossible that Zika would not have entered. However, how we react to it now, as a people, not just as a ministry, as a people, will result in whether we are able to contain the spread of Zika or whether it spreads like other mosquito-borne viruses have spread in the past. And that's all for the time being from the Ministry of Health in his ongoing response to the presence of Zika in Grenada. For State of Affairs, I am Kevin Fedrick.